these mobile phones got so powerful. So they are they are increasing uh, in power at the same rate or four times the rate as, as desktop PCs. And why this is exciting is we can run software um, on these devices which allows uh, the, the phone to see the world in the same way as we as human beings do. So this is what we call visual browsing. And what you can see right now uh, is uh, my phone. I'm projecting up on the big screen. And I have a glamorous assistant here with a picture. So the best way to show this in action is to just see it. And I simply point at the picture. And it comes to life. Summer lights and flowery braids, and o'er the crystal streamlet plays. Come, let us spend the lightsome days in the bricks of Aberfeldy. Day. Bonnie Marcy. So you'll see that what's cool about this is without the need for um, markers or QR codes or, or anything on the object itself, um, we can detect things and then display digital content on the top. This is exciting for lots of people. So uh, for publishers, it means that you can take things like magazines. So here we have a Top Gear magazine. Um, and when you point at the front cover of it, <laughs> CDs the same, so you can pick up a CD now. The cool thing about that one is it's full of links, so all of the different buttons that you can see on there, you could press on and jump off onto different websites. And the thing that's so great about this is it's so easy to make them. So in the case of Universal Pictures, uh, you can pick up one of their new Blu-ray or DVD packets. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me you built a time machine? What are the DeLorean? which is pretty cool. So for advertising and for editorial, it's incredibly powerful, but actually we're seeing that one of, one of the biggest areas for us isn't just uh, that, that kind of informative or, or advertising content, but it's also education. So I've been reliably informed that in Spanish this thing is called a router, um, which is what it's called uh, in the UK as well, and we have one here from Sky. Now rather than pointing at it and getting an instructional video, uh, you can point at the back of it, to set up your wired connection, begin by plugging in the great HSL cable, then connect the power, finally the yellow Ethernet cable. Congratulations, you have now completed the setup. Thank you. <laughs> So we posted that online to see what, what other people would come up with, and we've had lots of people who've, who've submitted their own ideas. There's one guy in Texas who's uh, tacked up a whole load of old cars, so you can lift up the hood of, of these old Mustangs and, and 4x4s, and um, point different bits of the engine, and it gives you instructions on how to fix certain pieces. Now, what's cool with this is you can actually now start to be part of the film as well. So working with cinema companies like Universal Pictures, um, we can actually take content from films and then tag them up in real world environments. So, my glamorous assistant is now going to join me on the stage. And what I'm going to do is, is point at this box down here. And uh, here she comes. Come on. Come on, dear. Don't be shy. Oh, I'm not bad. I'm just. which is quite new. Um, this was given to us by Marvel, and we've actually got uh, up on stage the, yeah, the 3D model. Yeah, that's good. It's really 
easy to do, and that's the nice thing about it. So we're going to show you now uh, some of the things that our, our partners have done. So um, with Erasma, we've already got over 3,500 partners, and adding this into an application that you already have um, is easy. It's two lines of code. So occasionally we go on YouTube and we look at what people have done. Um, here are some of the partners. So um, lots and lots of them, uh, ranging from fast-moving consumer goods to small app houses to sports brands. And uh, like I say, there are lots of ways to work. So we already have an application which has uh, many, many, many downloads. Um, we have uh, skinned apps, which you can very simply make. You just give us four images, and then we white label Erasmus and push it through the app store. Uh, and then you have the ability to put Erasmus into your own applications, which again is very, very easy to do. And uh, you know, the nice thing about it is you can literally point to anything. So um, this is something you did in that before, Dave. I made all of it. It's a quicker way, uh, way of made all of it. You see it in the catalog with the photos, but on the net you see it much better now. But I'm as happy and proud and uh, pleased that I can do this this way. It's so exciting for us to be here in Paris with Carl um, because he is the world's greatest living designer who is an icon worldwide and we knew we could really generate some excitement. And then also, um, um, fashion is very important and they're great, great clothes. Now what was really cool about this is we were able to put the whole collection up on these walls which were then unveiled all at the same time in different locations around the world and just by letting people going up and scanning the individual products uh, on display they were able to click through and buy them but they also hit a competition metric inside so if you were the 50th person or the 80th person to scan a particular product rather than having the ability to buy it you just won it, you got given it and that created the most incredible buzz um, I was at a couple of them and the screams were, I mean, at times unbearable. Um, we were sort of hid away in a, a little, little bush around the corner resetting the counters, but it was really, really, really incredible. Now, the thing that we love about Erasmus is the fact that users do get involved. So, I'll turn this down a bit, but this is one thing we found on YouTube, um, which is really cute, and it's a guy who's written an exercise book uh, where when you get all the little pieces in the right place, that becomes an Erasmus enabled trigger. He just did this using the tools inside the application and posted it for everyone to see. Um, the idea being that when the kid gets the puzzle right, they're rewarded with the next part of the story and they can go on to the next page. And this is my favourite. See what happens. Keep going. So it's really cute, um, it's really cool, but again the important thing about this is we have no part of this. We just literally, I mean we give the code away for free. If you want to be involved with Erasmus, it's completely free. So schools are just going in, they're signing up to be a registered partner, um, and they're creating experiences like this which help bring classrooms to life. It's literally anything now you can bring to life with this, with this technology. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you just how easy it is to do. So let me switch into my video camera up here. Uh, this is the bit where I need a tiny bit of audience participation. So guys down the front, unfortunately you are the victims here. Um, can I get you all to sort of wave, starting from this side and going across? So three, two, one, go. That's the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. Okay, so I'm going to start here and I want much bigger. So three, two, one, go. Much better. Okay. 
So now I jump into a Rasmus and I uh, get something which I'm going to use as a trigger. So in this case, I've got my, my badge. I take a photograph of like so. And then I can go through into my phone. Camera roll. Choose the video. And hopefully people aren't tweeting too much because if the internet is slow, we might struggle here. Okay. So this is going to take a few seconds. Um, while I'm talking about it, I'll quickly mention that if you're a professional user, the process is exactly the same, but you get to do it on our online content management system, which is an awful lot quicker. I do. The internet really is slow. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Thanks a lot. There we go. And I can place it in the middle, click on save, and it's done. So it's going to take a few seconds now to just process that, and then it's going to come back with a little bubble and let me know we're ready. Uh, the guys finally put a countdown, so I think we're nearly at the end. The other thing that's cool about this is if you make your own application, you've actually got quite a lot of scale here. Um, you can add up to 500,000 of these. Um, to each application, uh, and the only limit at the moment is the devices, so as the devices get faster, we can do even more. Right, so it's ready, I can now point at my badge. Go in there, you lovely little Go. very much. Um, this is Erasma. Uh, if you like it, then uh, follow us on Facebook or, or like us on Twitter or do whatever you want to do. Um, come to our website and uh, thank you so much. You've been a great friend.